Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and welcome to Napoleon Total War, the Swiss Confederacy Campaign, Part 31. Here we are on the campaign map, nice lovely big map of Europe, and we are... In the last part we took we took out Austria, we won this uh, province over here, Klausenburg, Transylvania. We're currently rebuilding the cantonment, and our units are all replenishing take a few turns and to replenish. I need to think about we going to war with them. Russia really. And probably if I can take these three provinces, help myself get more income and then we can actually uh, go to war with France because France owns so much of the map at the moment that it's actually absolutely uh, ridiculous. It's almost impossible to take them out at the moment. So yeah, it's it's kind of uh, it's going to be kind of difficult. It's going to take forever to get through the French turn as well uh, in this end of turn sequence. Anyway, um, in other news, we'll talk about some news while while we're in this uh, end turn phase. Hope you all enjoyed my Empire Total War campaign. It's finally over. Finally concluded. And it's great to finally have a complete series for a Total War game on YouTube. It's been one of my <laughs> ambitions in life, I guess you could say. Um, with YouTube, um, I used to watch a lot of Lionheart. And I've been watching a lot of Lionheart for the past two or three years. I think I subscribed to him when he had about... 3,000 subscribers. He has about 50. He has he just hit 50,000 now. So, you know, he's one of the best. I think he is the best in Britain, actually. So, you know, well done on him. He's leading the way for all of us, <laughs> and it's great to um, to see him have the success that he is actually having. And uh, he was one of the main. Um, things that gave me the one of the main reasons why I'm doing this right now because he gave me the ambition and the aspiration to do this. Cause I've always loved the Total War games but um, going back a few years ago I didn't have a very good computer so I couldn't actually play the Total War games like I wanted to play them. I couldn't even play Empire at one stage. I know most people couldn't because of the release and everything but I couldn't play it for... ooh what's this? Join war against Russia, well I'm going to do that anyway. They're going to give me a thousand, which is nice, and they're going to give me some bottling and canning. So I say thank you very much, my friends, allies. I don't want to upset them, and I'm going to be taking out Russia anyway. So it's a win-win situation, really. Um, anything to stay on France's good side. But anyway, going back to the conversation that I'm having with you guys at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the main reason. I couldn't play Empire properly. I could play Medieval 2 and Rome 2, and that was about it. So I waited a few years, made waited until I got a decent computer, and then I started doing these videos uh, earlier this year, and it's been great to finally get a fully completed Total War campaign uploaded on YouTube. Uh, Twenty six parts, I, th I think it was in the end. So you know, it's great to have that in my playlist to say, hey, if you want to watch a series, why don't you check out my uh, Maratha Confederacy campaign? So. Yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say. We've got a barracks here, that'll be interesting. Can I change to a cannon foundry? I believe I can, which would be very beneficial to me at the moment. Got have a cannon foundry over here. I can then recruit some cannons to put in this uh, army. It's going to take me a few turns, so I'm just going to ramble at the moment while I recruit a few units of line infantry, build up my force here. Get a decent army. I would probably recruit uh, another army. I'd, I'd like to have two, so I can perhaps go to Moldova and Bucharest, and then descend down, or descend across from here to Istanbul. Actually, I have got an army here, haven't I? Yeah, interesting. Right, I could actually do that in that case. Can I take all these guys out from this province? I can. So there's no point in me having an army in there if I'm not going to use it. We'll march up to the north. King of the North, and we'll go to just the end of this thing for now. We haven't got much of an army, to be honest. It's mainly militia, 
but it will do to disrupt the enemy. Might even take a province if I'm lucky. Um, am I marching any units across uh, Europe at all? I don't think I am. I was uh, building some cannons here, I believe. Loads of cannons here. I'm going to keep them there now, I think, because I'm going to build a cannon foundry near Russia. If war breaks out with Württemberg or France or even Italy, for that matter, at least I have cannons nearby to to help me out. Um, going back to this part of the map, yeah, I think I'll do go for Moldova and Bucharest simultaneously. But I'll wait a couple of turns to get my cannon. And yeah, it's great to to have uh, completed that campaign, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, as far as it goes, replacing that campaign at the moment, I have recently started a Sparta Let's Play for Total War Rome 2. It's on legendary difficulty. I don't usually play legendary, I usually play hard, so it's going to test me uh, more than usual. And it's going to be an extra special campaign that, simply because I'm going for the Steam achievement. Now, I, I don't get that Steam, Steam achievement. I, I, It'd be a miracle if I did, to be honest. But it's certainly interesting to try and go for it. It's the, this is Total War Steam Achievement. And basically, that's when you declare war on every single nation the turn you meet them. No ceasefire, no trade agreements, nothing. Just war, total war. And on legendary difficulty as well, you can imagine how difficult that campaign will actually be. But going back to this campaign and... Ancillary gained, Minister. Well done. How many more turns? Two more turns. Could do the staff ward really, but it's probably best not to worry about that for now. I can't recruit a general, can I? How many do I need? Oh, 2,000. It's quite steep. We have, they have a, only a small army in Bucharest, but I'm going to continue with my march north. What do I have in the Balkans? What can I recruit in the Balkans? I can actually recruit quite a few units in the Balkans. Some Swiss Grenadiers. Swiss line of trees actually cheaper than the Grenadiers. Um, do I want Swiss line infantry from here? Probably not. Barracks. Can I change the thing here as well? Oh, I haven't got enough funds. I'm only just short as well, which is the irritating thing. Um, okay, we'll end turn again. Um, I apologise it's a bit boring at the moment in this campaign, in this current episode, but that's because I'm going to be going to war with Russia soon. And to take out those Russian provinces, I need as much money as I can get. I need as much um, force power, basically. Swiss Switzerland in this campaign, I'm not using any mods other than Darth mods, so they don't have many unique units. They have basically two units of infantry, line infantry and Swiss line infantry. They have the Swiss grenadiers and... Uh, the basic militia unit. I think that's more or less all their infantry. Oh wait, they have uh, skirmishers. Um, Swiss Jaegers. That's the one, Swiss Jaegers. They have one unit of cavalry, the Chevalier Guards. And they have... Um, they have the basic um, units you can get with the cannon foundry. You know, the, uh, the artillery. And that's basically it. So th they don't really have much apart from that. Speaking of artillery, oh, I don't have enough fund, fundage. No bugger. Right, this army. Do I want to go that far to Istanbul? Don't know what they got in Istanbul. Uh, I'm gonna go into enemy territory, but I'm not gonna go too far, just to where these rocks are. But there, I think. I don't think they'll get to me in the next turn, and I can probably start moving this army now. One more turn for the cannon foundry. Uh, Go about another turn or two until I have my full force back here, which will be great. I'll end turn. Well, actually, before we do end turn, let's just uh, let's just see if we can get any more technology. Italy, I'm going anything we want. Okay, what about Württemberg? Have they got any technology? Nope, no technology at all. I see what was some of these nations, and I wish we weren't. These are the minor nations. What major? France. Our biggest, biggest ally. Technology, they got loads. Mm, wealth generated by farms. Uh, that would be a nice one to have. Um, joining walls. <laughs> I offered to clear war. No. Technology. Ah, it's no, it's no use. We'll just come out of that. There isn't really anything we can do on that side of things. Oh, we're bankrupt. How are we bankrupt? Good God. Golly, 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 golly. 
Um, can I... I'm going to merge these units with the old control M. <laughs> and that solved my pangrepting issues. <laughs> and here we are on the campaign map again. Going through the end turn phase once again. And I'm about to have a drink of my apple tango, so bear with me one second. Ah, nice and refreshing. And yet again, I am actually recording this video uh, it's about 11 o'clock now, at night. So um, I'm a little bit tired yet again. <laughs> I find I find with, with my life at the moment it's easier for me to do recording at night before I go to bed. I don't get much time in the day. And we have, oh, I forgot I was recruiting ships. <laughs> Let's just check out my ships a minute. Why am I recruiting over here? Oh, we got some more. I'll keep them going because I'm going to need a navy against France eventually. Going back to Transylvania, we shall recruit. Oh, we can't recruit anything. I don't really want to weaken this army up here. Although I do need cannon, so how can I do this? We've got no cannon over here. So our grab has. Bugger all. A matter of fact, I could just. We can cancel a couple of these. Oh, look at the money. Straight away. More money. Right. Klaus and Borg. We shall recruit three units of artillery. And I will actually start moving the southern army now. See what we can discover across the bridge. No enemies come out yet. I've got mainly militia, only one unit of line infantry, so it's going to be a bit of a sticky situation for me if they do sally out to attack me. But if not, I will head towards Istanbul. I will besiege them. If they are over, if they got a significant advantage over me, I'll break off the siege and fall back. But if they haven't, then I'll I'll probably attack and it'll probably be in this episode as well if I if I think I got time. The problem I find at the moment with my videos is that um I'm spend I'm Sometimes I'm I'm going to a battle and the battle may go on for 20 minutes or so and what that means is that the video file actually increases so uh, it takes much longer to actually upload. I don't mind waiting around to upload and to render and stuff but oh what we got here? Oh we got a half decent chance I think. A lot of these are militia. We'll fight this battle on this uh, in this uh, episode. But yeah, basically what I was trying to say was that um, sometimes the battles do go longer than I anticipate. The videos do go a bit longer than I anticipate. I don't really want to cut things out because it's important to see some of the campaign map footage as well. To, to show the lead up to the battle, to show the the diplomacy screens and the finances and all the other stuff you get on the campaign map. So um, yeah, sometimes I'm uploading videos and It'll take over an hour to up, it'll take say 45 minutes to an hour to render, then it'll take um, much longer to actually upload, sometimes over an hour, so that is my kind of, my main concern at the moment. But I will try my best to uh, render the video as quickly as I can. I am using Sony Vegas to actually... Um, Render my videos. There we go. We we'll start the battle straight away, and uh, we've attacked them. So we're gonna have to attack down here. They do have some spikes to stop my cavalry. We're gonna go straight for the artillery. I'll bring up my line. As a matter of fact, we'll bring them up to a nice long line about there. We'll bring my cavalry across. There. I'm going to speed this up as well, um, just to try to speed the battle up slightly. And it looks like I'm being outflanked on the left flank. What's over here? General. Oh, it's uh, another unit of artillery. Uh, let me go back to the normal speed. Just get one of these Chevalier Gars. I love saying that. It's like my favourite uh, word in the whole the whole um, game. Chevalier Gars. God, the cannons are firing, that's not good. Right, run, run you fools. Listen to Gandalf. Cavalry, charge. 
one journey now. Come on. We should take out the cavalry, the artillery pretty easily, I, I, I should think. Yes. Sir! Here we go. Sir, our general is under attack. Uh, that's one of the things I hate with this game. The generals are under attack. My general chose to attack them because I told him to. <laughs> Therefore, he's not under attack. Idiots. <laughs> Anyway, we've routed that unit completely, we can bring them back around and we can go to the left flank up here with my general. Uh, my cavalry is in place. We're actually going to bring them forward slightly, oh they've gone backwards for some reason. Pathfinding's playing up a little bit. Oh, they, oh my general's coming back, oh that's okay. These units getting shots away, which is what I want them to do. These units need to come forward again now. If I have militia units mainly, we can take out the militia units. We we have faith. We do have faith. I'm gonna actually run these units up now as well. Oh, this is what I don't want. Don't want them firing on me like that. Not very nice. Here we go. Plenty of units starting to fire now on the enemy. Getting plenty of shots away. Down to eleven. The artillery is routed and here we go if I wanted. That is what I wanted. I like it when a plan comes together. <laughs> and I'm going to actually bring these forward. I'm going to hold position with my line. No point coming out of position. Do they have any cavalry? That's the next important question. I don't believe they do. It gives me mobility, so we'll bring my cavalry to the left flank. For some reason, the grouping has gone rather strange for me. Bring them to the left flank like so. Start using some concentrated fire on these units. Here we go, we've grabbed this unit now. These two can get shots away on them. These units can fire on them. It looks like we might be able to take Istanbul here. Didn't expect this to happen in this episode. But I should have more faith. <laughs> Right, this is where a cavalry a charge can be effective. I'm going to line these cavalry units up. They're only militia. So, we're going to go for a cavalry charge. Epic Lord of the Rings style, straight into the enemy. Well, they're walking, so it's not quite epic enough. Run, you fools, come on. <laughs> I don't lose my general exact either, but. We're doing pretty well on the in the main line at the moment. Oh, you just don't stop in front of the idiot. Why did my cavalry's not doing well for some reason? Right, I'm gonna bring him back. It just totally messed up my plans. We're actually killing a few of them as well. In some weird way, it has sort of worked. My generals decided to stay behind. Don't do that for God's sake. Just get what they know. One general get out. Just get out of there. Don't walk away, bro. My flanks do a grand job. I think this cavalry unit out as well. Two units take out the militia there. This unit take out the regiment of footer nearby. These units can afford to stay in the square. We are actually outflanking the enemy on this left flank. Cavalry charge did sort of work. Didn't intend for it to work like it did, but what can you do? <laughs> nice to be back playing uh, Napoleon. I've played for a few days actually since my last recording. Been playing a lot of Total War Room 2 lately, so it's nice to get back to playing a game which, you know, which is rather fleshed out. No offense to Total War Room 2, but this game is certainly more optimised, certainly easier to control and easier to play. The whole one click to walk rather than the two clicks to run kind of philosophy. Some of these units come back as well, which I didn't expect. My two uh, skirmishing troops, my grenadiers, can come out to square and actually start firing upon the enemy yet again. Try to break enemy here. The cavalry's gone for a charge. It's 
that's going to be supported with my other two units once they get there. Pick up some of them if we can. We're doing a pretty good job now. I should probably reorganise my line, but I don't think I need to at the moment. It's going fairly well. And we're working that unit as well. Um, the thing with Darth Mod is they do tend to come back. Which is more realistic in a sense, because if you've got 180 men deployed and you've only lost, say, 30, then realistically you would come back, wouldn't you? There's still a chance of winning the battle, so it does make sense, which is one of the things I do love with Darth Mod. And one of the things I do hate with Rome 2 at the moment is that the morale system does seem to be broken, pretty much. So, oh, I want to pull away from those spikes over there. <laughs> forgot about them. Don't walk into them, horsey. Don't walk into them. I bet he walked into them. There he goes. Death. <laughs> and he did. I was right. Right, I can't do a cavalry charge unless I go around the back, so we will actually bring my cavalry around to the far left flank. And we're going to bring up some of these troops now. We've got a nice big line. Just chasing them. They only appear to have this one unit left as well, so bring these right around. Right. Cavalry charge there. Cavalry charge there. Cavalry charge there. Three units are going to do a cavalry charge for me. Once they start running, this unit is going to actually uh, fire. This one's chasing them down as well. There we go. Nice little cavalry charge. Let's zoom in out into the action. And they are routed. And looks like that's pretty much the end of this battle, I think. I don't know if any of that was left on victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Nope, I think that's it. There we are. End battle there. Heroic victory. And it looks like we have taken Istanbul. So our first conquest of Russia is successful. My mainly militia. I could liberate and have the Ottomans back. I won't do that though, I'll occupy because I want the wealth. A region captured. I need to repair an awful lot of things now. Um, before I end the episode, I will try to get some more income. Naval recruitment, I'll break off these two ships for now because I not, don't need them quite yet. And I can actually try to rebuild my ordnance factory. That's probably what I need at the moment. What about army encampment? Uh, we need to rebuild this straight away and we can actually rebuild a few of these things which is what I'll start doing now but I'm going to end the episode there hope you've all enjoyed part 31 of this uh, campaign I've been Dragonheart until next time, goodbye <laughs>